Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechak, Kodash. want to send double honors unto our elders and apostles, a great millstone that rule well. Peace, love, and salutations always to the hopeful elect, which consists of you so called Negroes, you so called Latinos, and you so called Native Americans, which are the true children of Israel, according to the Holy Bible, that teach this word in sincerity and in truth wherewith we were scattered. All right. So I'm coming back once again with another lesson through the Spirit and power, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Hawachakudash, which is the Holy Spirit, which enables us to teach this truth. And as you see, the prophecies are jumping off of the pages, man. You know? This coronavirus is part of prophecy. As it goes into the book of 2 Ezra, the 15th chapter, where it says, Behold, I will send plagues upon the earth, famine, the sword, death, and destruction. And this coronavirus is um, a form of a plague, and it's causing death, man. You know, it's plaguing the whole entire globe, starting from uh, Wuhan and China, spreading throughout the four corners of the earth, man. You know, and this thing is big. You have a lot of people... That, that they're not taking this thing very seriously. They're taking it with a grain of salt because we've had these different viruses and diseases that came and went where we had minimal uh, minimal casualties. Well, this thing is hasn't even been, um, it surfaced, what, in about November, I believe, October, somewhere around there. And since then, what, you have 5,000 deaths throughout the, uh, 5,300 plus deaths throughout the entirety of the globe from this one virus, man. And this is still the early stages, you know. But meanwhile, you have people that are not taking it seriously, which, as um, which you shouldn't take it, you shouldn't be um, devastated, but you should take heed, man, because they're the, guess what? They're about to start having people self quarantine. They're about to start shutting down things in the streets, man. People are not going to be able to leave their homes, with meaning you're not going to be able to go to work. You're not going to be able to go down to the grocery store. You're not going to be able to um, go get your your, uh, your Swisher Sweets, your Swisher Sweets, your McChickens, or whatever it is that you desire in this life. And also, and most importantly, <clears throat> the holy prophets of Yahweh Bashim Shai, the sincere prophets of Yahweh Bashim Shai, are not going to be able to hit the highways and the hedges, which leads to the famine of the word, according to the book of Amos, the eighth chapter. You know? So this thing is this thing is getting big, man. Multi-million dollar events are being shut down. March Madness, the NBA is indefinitely shut down. You know, you have all these things going on due to this coronavirus and you still have people taking it lightly. You know, so we give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shimei Awashai? Because this is going to be a day where a lot of you people are going to be put to shame. You know, and you're going to take it seriously when you're infected with this virus. When you're laying, when you're on your last, uh, your last breath due to this coronavirus, man. All right. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get this book, of Proverbs, the first chapter, man. Because the Most High said He's gonna laugh when your when your fear cometh. You know, that's when it's gonna get serious for people. Not only not only the Israelites, but every every nation and ethnicity in the world, man. All right. Um, now I wanna get where's it at? In verse twenty. I'll start from verse 24, all right? It says, <clears throat> because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. And how has Yahweh Shem Yahushai stretched out his hand? By the way of his holy prophets. And by the way of these scriptures. Us teaching it, this word, man. Hitting the highways and the hedges and telling people what, what, uh, the things that are to come. You know, that's how Yahweh Shem Yahushai stretched out his arm and says, No man regardeth. But ye has said at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof. <laughs> so I can, I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock I will mock when your fear cometh. You know, and a lot of people are getting spooked up behind this thing, man. You know, a lot of people, um, they don't know what to do. They're panicking. You know, they're uh, they're going to the stores and they're buying everything up. You know, hey, come on, man. Yeah, how about Shimei Al Shai is judging the earth right now? Because of these because of the um the um the mass amount of transgressions in this world, Yahweh about Shimei Al Shai is judging, man. And it also says in the book of Isaiah that the slain of the Lord shall be many. You know? It's really gonna be many by the way of thermonuclear missiles 
But right now, you see that the death toll is growing due to this coronavirus, man. You know? And people don't know what the hell to do. They, they, can't, they can't find a so-called, they can't find a cure for this thing. You know, hey, this thing is this thing is about to be a made. This is a major part of 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 prophecies, man. All right. It says, when your fear cometh as desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. A lot of people are going not going to know what to do when you can't leave your house. You know, when you hey, this is this is a, a a minute form of martial law. So hey, hey, call hello like y'all watching me. I was shy, man, because his words are jumping off the pages. Everything that he spoke are coming to pass. Isaiah 42 and verse 9. All right. This is the book of Isaiah 42. All right, in verse um in verse 9. So lock it one page off. And it says this, it says, behold, the former things are come to pass and new things do I declare. Behold, they spring forth and I tell you of them. You know, that is a, a very adamant scripture to keep in mind, man. These prophecies are coming to pass. All right. And how about it, it, this ain't no new thing, man. It, this has been declared before the world began. All right. It says, then shall they call upon me. That's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, it's Satan. It says, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Why? Because when the, the, the chance, the opportunity to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, when that, that gate was open, you know, people didn't take it, didn't take heed to it. You know, people didn't take advantage of it. You know, didn't utilize the sources that were given unto them to serve Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And now when your time of calamity is hitting, you're going to be crying for the Heavenly Father. You're going to be crying for somebody to save you, you know? But as it says also, uh, what is that, the book of uh, Jeremiah, the second chapter, I believe, where it says, where are these gods and these different things that you called upon, man? Where are these different, these idols and things that you relied on, that you that you looked for, that, I mean, not looked forward to, that you, um, that you were so adamant to serve? Where are they at? Go and find them and, and, and have them save you in the time of trouble if they can, which they can't, man. You know, that's why it says in Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, seek ye the Lord in thy youth while the evil days come not, you know, which is what we, we, we that's what we teach, man. Serve the Lord and in, in, um, uh, in sincerity and the truth and he, he'll protect you, man. All right. And I'm saying that specifically to the Israelites because you are the only nation of people on earth that have a chance of repentance. All right. It says, therefore. They, uh, shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices? For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of the fools shall destroy them. You know, and, and that's, that's plain and simple, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is a lot of people are about to put a, he's about to put a lot of people to shame. All right, this is Romans ten and thirteen. Uh, Slakia, keep going. God damn it, Slakia for that. So wait for this to load up. You know, this is back in the book of Romans, the 10th chapter. And the 14th verse, it says, How then shall they call upon, call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Or how shall they hear without a preacher? Which Yahweh Shem Yahushai have set, out, set up throughout the four corners of the earth. And how shall they preach except they be sent? You know, and this is what we, this is what we've been teaching. You know, from the, the Apostle Tahar, the Apostle Gabar, the Apostle Rahimla, Apostle Racha, on down, on down the line, we have been teaching these things, man. You know, it says, cause them to be written, uh, cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. These are the words that we've been, been teaching, man. That's how you know who is up your heart by Shem Shai, man. We the ones that have been teaching uh, um, about the, uh, not the coronavirus itself, but about different pestilences and plagues. We're the one that that been teaching that the ICBM missiles are the uh, the arrows that are spoken of in the scriptures. That the mark of the beast is the RFID chip spoken of in the Book of Revelation, amongst many other things, man. You know, and you don't have every every nation, uh, not every nation, that every sect of Israel is not teaching in truth and sincerity. They're not teaching uh, um, what what the scriptures say, man, and and its fullness. 
It says what? Um, I shall not give give heed to cunning devised uh, devised words, man. Roughly paraphrasing from the book of Second Peter, the second chapter, man. Which the, those devised words, devised fables, are things that are made up. They're not 100% fictional or, or non-fiction, man. All right? It says, as it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings and good of uh, glad tidings of good things. We teach the kingdom of heaven is on the way. We teach that there's going to be rest in the kingdom of heaven. But we also, it also says, we teach um, the things that it says lamentation, mourning, and woe. We teach those as well, you know. And these things are looked over until they hit home. These things are looked over until you, until your ass is is on your last breath, man. You know, or when you when you don't when you're in a time as it says in Proverbs the first chapter in your time of calamity, you know. Your how about Shimei Shai is judging the earth, you know. I want to get this in the book of Joel. And then I'm going to close it out. Joel, the second chapter. And this is what's coming to pass right now. All right. Joel, the second chapter in the first verse. It says, blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord. Yahweh cometh for it is nigh at hand. And you see it, man, because this coronavirus is going to lead to so many other prophecies. All right. As I mentioned, the famine of the word. All right. It said, and also says what in the book of um, Second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter, a man should desire to go into a city and shall not be able. They're going to be not only cutting off, um, like I mentioned, they're not going to only cut people off from moving from state to state and city to city, but you can't even leave your house. You know, there's going to be a point in time where that comes to pass where you can't even leave your house, man. You know, this is the things that we're teaching because Yahweh Shemuel Shai said these words are faithful and true, man. All right. And a day, it says, uh, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains. A great people and a strong, there have not been ever the like, neither shall uh, be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. All right. So these things that the things that we teach, these things, these things, it says what um, in the book of Colossians, I believe the first chapter, it says the, uh, these words are revealed unto his service, the prophets. All right. And we are to teach these words that uh, says a day of darkness and of gloominess. All right. Which is a day of sorrow and a day of mourning, a day of great death. All right. As it says in second, this was the 16th chapter. All these are the beginning of, of sorrows and people will still not take heed to your Habashi Shai's word. But hey, we're coming in a time where people are about to be put to death. People are being judged on a mass scale. And we're praising your Habashi Shai, man. It says that his servants and his prophets shall eat and ye shall be hungry. We shall rejoice, but ye shall mourn. And this is the time that we're coming into, you know, because through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, we believe that we are protected as long as we continue to serve Yahweh Hashem Shai in truth and in sincerity, man. All right. So with that being said, I'm going to say Shalom.